All right, we're back at it in the garage. A uh, few minor things here to get this thing hopefully completely dialed for drift season, fingers crossed. Um, we have to pull the radiator, so um, Taylor Ray kind of got my head on this. I mean, I have gaps everywhere uh, that we didn't perfectly seal the shroud, so I got some pretty nice, um, I call this, I don't know, it doesn't have a name on it, but basically like two inch uh, aluminum foil tape. So uh, we'll pull the radiator, go all the way around uh, the shroud with it. And then also we should switch to uh, distilled water and water water. So some of the tracks that we go to, uh, especially US Air, they do care about this and they want you to run water. Um, and I've just noticed the car runs cooler anyway. So a uh, nice little project on this beautiful Sunday. Uh, it is gorgeous out and I mean 75 80 degrees and just perfect so um, kind of motivating got the doors open and uh, yeah let's get this little project knocked out Well, it's out. We got the radiator out and on the workbench. Uh, now we can just give it a quick little clean um, and then we can apply our tape all around the edges of the shroud. So you can see, I mean, we did our best to get these gaps pretty darn good, uh, but there is still definitely gaps. So uh, yeah, we'll clean it up. Sorry I didn't film, you know, the, the process of pulling it, but just kind of a lot of wrestling things and unplugging things um, and yeah just kind of got lazy with it but um, yeah it came out pretty good now we just uh, know for next time these wires were a little bit to fight with but not too bad nice thick gauge uh, fan wires um, but yeah we uh, made it pretty serviceable so not too bad at all so yeah let's get to it and I'll put you guys on the GoPro so, or sorry the tripod so you can uh, kind of watch as we tape it all up
All right, radiator is back in. Uh, we've got the tape sealing it as best we can, that uh, foil tape, and now we just added the water wetter and we're gonna put the distilled water in. So there she is, you can see uh, we've covered aluminum tape everywhere that we possibly can. Uh, we've got the water wetter in, we got our funnel on, and now it's time to add our distilled water. So let's get to it. Heck yeah, no, be, no obvious signs of leaking luckily, uh, we got the gauge sitting at 20, 20 psi, but yeah, just go around and check your clamps, don't see any that are leaking or hissing too bad, so we should be good to go. So we will move on, we'll put the uh, this funnel back on and uh, run the car and bleed it properly. All right, uh, this is one project I'm not super proud of because it sucks to get a product, like an aftermarket product, and then modify it and make it work, but we want to solve our camber issue. So this side has taken out, so you can see the shock coilovers. Uh, these are stance coilovers, and I've had them for a long time. They've been doing great. However, um, I've never been able to adjust my negative camber out on this side. So I, I want more positive because the lowest I can get, uh, I guess I should say the highest I can get is negative six. Uh, and part of it is because I think the shock tower is tweaked. So this camber plate has always been fine. You can see there's plenty of adjustment. You could push it this way uh, out to give you less negative camber. However, this side was never quite the same. Um, it was maxed out all the way that way towards the outside. So that was as much positive camber as I could get. So GK Tech sells these um, extra slotted spacers. Um, so you can see this is the OEM slot and top hat and this is the GK Tech one. So you have much more uh, camera adjustment. Not really for my situation. <laughs> I think this is more meant for if you're running like uh, like one of those uh, crazy angle kits like the, uh, why am I blanking, Wisefab or maybe even FDF or whatever. Because uh, the track width on the control arm gets so crazy. It pushes the control arm out much more than what I have my PBM one set to. Uh, but anyway, the idea is you basically uh, pop this guy in here and then it gives you that extra slot adjustment so works out pretty slick the only problem was uh, you can see all these grind marks the allen bolts that uh, go through and bolt into the top of the coilover were not able to line up so i had to open them up and look at the amount of freaking metal dust i think it's aluminum billet aluminum but jesus man like I ground the shit out of these slots. So uh, I hate doing that. I mean, these top hats were like 200 bucks, but got to do what we got to do uh, to fix our camber problem. So uh, we're, I think we're pretty close to being done with test fitting. Uh, and I'll show you guys kind of what it looks like once, once we've tested it and, uh, you know, have it in the car. So yeah, we'll show you how that goes. 
All right, and here it is, the test fit in the car, so you can see the idea of uh, these top plates. So we've got our crazy long extended Allen. That thing is sweet, and our new Milwaukee ratchet. It's been very nice, uh, but yeah, there it is. So you can see that is much more adjustment than what we used to have, and it sits in there real nice. Now that I uh, bored out those holes a bit, um, it does kind of eat into the uh, the sides, the shiny metal sides that I've been boring. Um, so I don't know how much I want to mess around with, like you know, trimming a washer to fit. It might be nice to save the save the metal because you'll see. Like what happens is, I mean, if you tighten it down too much, it'll actually wear little chunks. If I can get this on camera, this camera is so old, uh, but it'll wear. Yeah, see, it'll take little divots out of the side. So, either you just don't crank them down, you know, super crazy. But, I mean, you want it to hold, right? You want it to lock your camber in place. Uh, but, happy medium. I think, it, I think it'll be okay if you just put, like, I think this ratchet goes to, like, 35 foot-pounds. I mean, when I made those marks, I was taking this and just, uh, probably 100 foot-pounds or something crazy. So, just be mindful of that when we make the camera adjustment, but I think we're pretty much there. So, that's the point of them, uh, and that's that's the test fit. So, uh, yeah, we get in alignment again later this week, and hopefully we can get that negative camber dialed. So, yeah, that's kind of my last little uh, rev uh, revision upgrade for the year. All right, update in the garage. Um, we are getting one slight alignment tweak. Um, we have always had that camber issue that I told you about in the previous video. Um, so we're gonna throw these new uh, GK Tech top plates in, uh, top hats. So these give you way more slot adjustment, uh, which we don't really need on the driver's side, um, but we do need it on the passenger side. <laughs> don't wanna go into too much detail and rehash it, but like I said before, I think this side is tweaked a little bit, uh, but this should hopefully solve our issue. So uh, yeah, let's get these tossed in. Uh, and then we do have um, some adjustable wheel spacers for the rear. These are pretty sweet. You can stack uh, different uh, width plates on top of each other. So it adjusts from 15 millimeter all the way up to 30. So pretty rad, uh, but yeah, I'll try to film a bit as we put these top plates in and uh, let's get this done. All right, guys, we're back at it in the garage, uh, getting everything ready for tomorrow's uh, second alignment. <laughs> the first one went okay, but we had that camber issue that we're sorting out. Uh, the steering wheel isn't quite straight, and I think I'm gonna have them reduce the toe a little bit in the rear. Um, so, But the major thing is the camber in the front. We're trying to reduce it. So uh, I didn't film all that well last night because uh, I kind of got frustrated with these Allen screws, but they are in. Um, the spacing on these slots, I had to kind of fudge because it doesn't didn't fit my coilover perfectly. So we had to trim some washers last night and uh, yada yada. It was quite the ordeal to get it fitted in, but it is in there. Uh, and now we are going to repeat uh, what we did uh, for the driver's side. So let's take the wheel off. We'll drop the coilover top hat, take the uh, old top hats off, and switch them over to our new ones. <clears throat>
Um, just to explain why I've been doing all this trimming. Oh, let me zoom out. Trimming and weird stuff. So um, you can see with the Allens in here, if this camera will focus, see how the spacing on the outside is definitely more than the spacing on the inside. See how there's that gap on the outside on both sides. So, um, you know, when I tighten this all the way down, I I don't know, I mean, I trust it that it'll hold in these slots, um, but just for added insurance, um, I've been adding these M6 washers. So, and because that gap is odd on that side, like I said, you, you can't just put this washer in there or else it'll bind up because one side has, uh, you know, the outside has more gap than the inside. So what we've been doing is we've been taking our die grinder right here and we've been trimming off almost trimming it flat on one side uh, for that for the side that has the less gap uh, and then that way that allowed us to get our washers in on this side so you can see if i bring the camera in here you can see they all have washers under them so uh, we're going to do the same thing here uh, just trim them up with the die grinder and uh, hopefully we should be pretty close to done and then we set our ride height um, one more thing oh these extended allen keys so I'm going to bring this with me for tomorrow's alignment because it is so nice for some of these things because you don't have the bulky like socket head in the way down where you, you need it. So uh, extended Allens, haven't used them a ton, but when you use it, it's amazing. And this ratchet, very amazing. <laughs> this is the extended reach Milwaukee uh, 3 Ace ratchet. It's the uh, extended reach and the high speed, so that thing rips. But uh, anyway, let's get to trimming and get this done, hopefully. All right, let me bring you in here, guys. So we've got everything attached. Uh, we've got our our kind of, uh, you know, not the greatest uh, designed washer and slots uh, just due to Matt's grinding, but it should hold, um, fingers crossed. But anyway, yeah, I, I played around with it. <clears throat> if we need to adjust it, it seems like we can pull it back and forth. And so that side's on and that side's on, and now it's just time to uh, adjust the ride height. And so we have to account for the spacing on these new top hats. So there is definitely about 15 mil of spacing, so it raised the car up a little bit. So we will have to lower it to compensate for it. But uh, yeah, pretty happy with that, uh, and I hope it gets us where we need to be at with our alignment, and we can have the camera we've always wanted. Let's go. All right, I had to film it. Uh, the car is back on the ground, and GK Tech said that these uh, offset strut tops space the coilover down about 22 millimeters, which will, in, in a sense, jack the car up. And oh my God. <laughs> Look at that. You can think our stance coilovers have enough room to, to lower that down. That is beyond like monster trucking, bro. So yeah, they really did. Uh, I tested this side. I went down about as half as much as I thought I needed, and I still got to go quite a bit more. So uh, it really did space it down. Uh, yes, space it down, raising the car up, forcing us to have to lower the coilovers much more. So good thing there's enough adjustment. Hopefully uh, we can get that fitment looking good. <laughs> 